This time, I'm going to talk about how to perform extreme value analysis in Python. So what is extreme value analysis? Extreme value analysis is a branch of statistics dealing with the extreme deviation from the medium of probability distributions. There are many events can be count as extreme event, like flood, earthquake, virus outbreak, financial crisis, etc. I downloaded the closing price of Dow Jones Index from Yahoo Finance from February 1st, 1985 to February 28th, 2020. This is the data I downloaded from Yahoo Finance. This is as of date. This is closing price of Dow Jones Index. From the closing price, I calculated daily return. And I pick up months and year from as of date. And I concatenated year and month at my key. What I want to do is I want to pick up the minimum return for every month as my extreme data. There are two common ways to isolate the extremes. One is block maxima. Another one is points above the threshold. Block maximum works this way. I only show five months the daily return of Dow Jones index in order to show you the concept. For every month, I'll consider as one block. And then I'll pick up the minimum return from every month. So what is points above the threshold? In this method, we've set up a threshold. In this example, I set negative 2% as our threshold. You can see if the daily return is below this threshold, I'll pick up the data point. So what are the pros and cons of analyzing block maxima? First, it can invoke EVA theory and use a simple model. And it removes dependence with block. You can see here, there is a significant market downturn for several days consecutively. And because we are picking only one data point for every month, and then this dependency will be removed. The cons are, it excludes some large value. For example, there are several large value inside this same month, but because we only pick up one value from one month, and then we just ignore that second highest value. And also, you must pick the block size. If it's too big, you lose data. For example, if we say, OK, we set this block as one year, we only pick up one data point for year, and then you will lose a lot of data. If it's too small, you can't use EVA theory. So what are the pros and cons of analyzing points above the threshold? Same with block maximum, it can invoke EVA theory and use a simple model. 
and it will return all large values in the analysis. For example, if we set up the threshold as negative 2%, you can see we will pick up all the large values in this analysis. But in the same time, it must deal with dependence within block. You can see because we have dependency inside this block, in this case, if we set threshold as negative 2%, we pick up all the four values. They all belong to this specific month. And also you can see setting the threshold is really difficult. Say, okay, if you want set this threshold to 1%, and then you will pick up all those values. In this video, I want to identify the best distribution for your data. There are several distributions I use in this video. They are exponential distribution, generalized extreme value distribution, the Gumball distribution, generalized parental distribution, and generalized logistic distribution. Let's check out this exponential distribution. For exponential distribution, there is only one parameter, lambda, here. You can see if we think this horizontal axis as a return and the probability density function shows like this close to zero is very large and uh, when x increase it will decrease exponentially and the lambda the larger the decrease will be faster. For example, if lambda equal to 1.5, you see the curve decrease like this. If lambda is only 0 0.5, and then it shows the orange line, it decreases much slower. If we check this cumulative distribution function, you can see if lambda is large, of course the cumulative distribution will increase much faster. And if lambda is small, say it's only 0 0.5, and then the curve will increase slowly. OK, let's go to work. First, I loaded the data into Python. And then I'll pick up the minimum value of daily return from the data. And the data point looks like this. You can see it start from February 1985, runs all the way down to yesterday is February 28th, 2020. And the worst return of every month shows like this. And you can see this is data points shows a very bad return. And this is Black Monday. And then I calculate the moments from those extreme data points. So what are all those moments? Moments shows us the location, scale, skewness, and kurtosis of our data. 
For example, L1 show us mean of the data, that means the location, and L2 divided by L1 show us the scale, and L3 divided by L2 will show us the skewness of the data, and L4 divided by L2 will show us the kurtosis of our data. When we try to fit our data into the distributions, we use all those moments to fit the distribution instead of using the original data. And then I will feed all those moments to the quantile function. Again, this is the five distributions I used in this video. From this graph, we can visually check which distribution fits our data best. This generalized logistic distribution fits our data very well. If we run the KS test, we can check the p-value. You can see the generalized logistic distribution has a p-value 0.9866, which is the largest one. The smallest one is exponential distribution because it has a power of negative 14. Now, Let's draw the graph separately. You can see this is for the generalized logistic distribution. It fits data very well. If we draw the exponential distribution, you can see it doesn't fit the data quite well. This is how I perform extreme value analysis in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.